Hello YouTube, this is the Survivalist247, and today I've got a new video for you. Uh, today I'm gonna do a video on request from a friend of mine, uh, Elite Striker. Um, he asked me how I recorded my game footage with OBS Studio, and today I'm going to show you all how to do that. Considering OBS is not the easiest thing to set up, it's not just install it and go, like some other um, video recording softwares are. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'm going to use OBS to record this too, and you can see it's an infinite window of hell, but it's not the point here. Um, I'm using display capture for this. So anyway, let's get started. So first off, first thing you need to do is you need to download OBS Studio, and the quickest way to do this is to go into your Google and look up OBS without that little thingy, but it'll be this open broadcast software dash index and I'll have this link obsproject.com in the uh, in the description of the video so you can check that out and OBS is a great little program because as you can see here it's got all these little buttons over here to the side we've got start streaming start recording studio mode settings and exit all right there's all this stuff so you can stream to YouTube with this and other websites you can record and there you can uh, cut some scenes up over here so First off, if you want to move this around, if you want to record a game, the next thing you need to know is you need to open your game up and you need to figure out well first all first off you need to know what resolution your computer screen runs at and what resolution your games run at. Now generally you want to keep your screen resolution and game resolution the same so it fits your whole screen. Me, I don't do that because I have a weird resolution. Um, my monitor itself, I do not have a 1080p monitor. I have a 1440 by 900 p monitor. And that's still HD, but it's not full 1080 HD. So I record my videos in a different aspect ratio than that because 1400, 1440 by 900 is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. And so basically what that means is if I upload a YouTube video, there's going to be black bars on each side of it and it's going to look weird. So what I do is I downscale my games to the next highest 16 by 9 resolution scale, which is 1366 by 768 for me. So once you have your game running at whatever resolution, if you're going to upload to YouTube, you want to get your games running at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio resolution. That's how you want to do it. But then once you have it set up like that, you want to go into here into your settings first thing you want to do is you want to click video now I can't do anything because I'm recording with it let me see maybe if I create a different scene I can is it still recording it is still recording alright so I'll add a scene right here so I'll do game capture alright you hit OK you, for one, you'll already have scene one, and this will be blank, but I'll show you how to get to that in a minute. So go to scene two. See, no, I still can't. All right. But anyway, back to scene one. All right, so you want to go to your settings. All right. First thing you want to do is you want to go to output. All right. So right here is your recording path. All right. In your recording, this is where your uh, videos will show up when you stop recording. The video files will show up there. So I have a dedicated hard drive for my game footage. I'll bring that up. I have a 40 gigabyte Barracuda that I use for this, and it's got all my game files in it for all, from all my recording. Down here, next thing you want to know, and, and you want to set this to wherever you want to set this. This will be usually in your C drive at first. Um, next thing you want to do is your recording format. So you, if it, it'll be on FLV, I record in MP4. I find that's best for me. You can do whatever you want. Experiment with the other ones. All right, whatever you want to do. Next thing you want to go to is audio. Now, I wouldn't mess with this stuff, like this stuff right here. What what you want to mess with is desktop audio device and mic auxiliary audio device. So this should be okay at default. 
this, if you have a microphone plugged into your computer, you're gonna gonna find it in this list right here. All right, and then enable that. Then you want to go down to video. All right, now what you want to do is you want to set this the base resolution. You want that to be whatever resolution you're recording your games at. It doesn't have to be your monitor resolution. Now, if you record at your monitor resolution and your games run at a lower resolution, it'll still capture the game. It'll just look weird. So I'd set it to your game resolution so it fills the whole screen. So set that to whatever resolution. Usually, most people have 1080p monitors or 720p monitors, and even 1366 by 768 monitors are pretty common too. So you want to go in there, and it's you, you might be able to find it in a little scroll bar here, but it's easier just to click on it and type it in. And just to get that X in there, you just press the X key on your keyboard. And then you'll see output scaled resolution. If that is not the same as this resolution, you need to change it to make it the same. So after you've done that, if you want to, you can set your hotkeys for start recording and stop recording, start streaming and stop streaming. You want you can set that. I would not mess with this. This is all fine. All right? This is you unless yours is in a different language or you don't speak English, don't change this. Now you can also have the default theme which is white. I like the dark theme. So now that you've got all that done, you hit apply and then that's that's it you hit okay now next thing you want to do is you you'll see scene one over here and then sources sources will be empty for you what you want to do is you want to come over here you want to right click on it hit add and you can if you're recording a game you want to go to game capture you hit okay and then this will come up properties for game capture too now if you are streaming or recording you can use this but it is a pain because I, it doesn't always work so I would uncheck that and then what I do to get my games to record is I go into my Steam and I start up my games so I'd start up American Truck Sim and then I would um, control alt delete tab out of it start up a task manager I bring up my OBS again and after you like after you get out of your game this will you'll leave you'll close that window before you get in your game come back in here and you'll right click on game capture 2 and hit properties now window you'll see you'll see uh, a list of programs come up here so steam explorer you want to find your game in this list of programs click on that and hit OK after that after you hit OK you will then if you do not have your hotkey set up you would then hit start recording there then get back into your game and cut out the little piece in the editing software where you were had a black screen or not whatever you want to do but you would go into your you would hit start recording and then you would go into your game and record from there and that's how I set mine up that's how I do it except I use my plus and minus numpad keys for hotkeys so the, I find those to be pretty good keys unless you're playing like armor or something and then it's difficult because you've got your zooms on your scopes and stuff and it's annoying but that's how you do it guys so um if you guys thought this tutorial was helpful uh, please leave a like uh, this is for my buddy elite striker go check out his channel but uh, thanks for watching guys and I will see you all in the next video